Challenger Manuel Gonzalez, although neither fighter really was able to assert himself too much. But Kudo, as we saw through the first seven rounds, was building up a steady lead. Let's get to the action in round eight. Manuel Gonzalez at Challenger in the yellow trunks at the top of your screen, now circling to the right. Coming off a good seventh round. He used his jab effectively against some very aggressive tactics early in the round by Kudo. We have Kudo ahead on our cards. Scheduled for 15. Kudo on the attack early again. Neither of these fighters has ever been beaten. Gonzalez has fought to draws four times. Manuel Gonzalez ranked number five. Tim Ryan at ringside in the Kuramai Koguki Khan Sumo Wrestling Hall here in Tokyo. The World Championship Boxing Action on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Gonzalez covering up well. Kudo unable to score. Referee Luis Silbron of Venezuela gets them separated. Kudo has been at his best when he has kept moving and forced the issue. Gonzalez has been at his best when he has jabbed, keeping Kudo away from him, and then following to the body. Kudo scoring with a left to the cheekbone, high on the right cheekbone. Gonzalez digging back to the body. Less than a minute remaining in the eighth round. <laughs> Gonzalez staggered by Kudos left hook. He started it low and he backed up Gonzalez. Gonzalez now trying to get off those ropes. Kudo trying to keep him there. The crowd alive, but Gonzalez with a good left jab backed up Kudo momentarily. But the Japanese champion comes right back. Final seconds of round number eight. After an even ninth round, the challenger Manuel Gonzalez seemed to get that jab going, which had been his most effective punch earlier in the fight. And let's get to the action now in the 10th round. Round number 10 for the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship 154 pound limit. The champion is on the left of your screen in the white trunk. Masashi Kudo from Akita, Japan. The challenger now on the left of your screen, Manuel Gonzalez from Argentina. So far, it has been Kudo's fight. Gonzalez unable to sustain any kind of consistent offense, but neither fighter been able to really take control. But without the knockout power, it would have to be an uphill climb for Gonzalez now, according to our unofficial cards. Kudo scoring with a short right. Didn't have much sting on it, but he landed. Now Gonzalez pushes him back. Gonzalez jabbing again. Scoring with a good left jab. Gonzalez on the attack in the middle of the ring. Kudo just keeps coming right on. Gonzalez puts a couple of those jabs together. Looks like he might get something going, but Kudo just battles back. 
usually forcing Gonzalez to the ropes. Gonzalez wants him out in the middle of the ring. Round 10 has been a good round so far for the challenger. Landing to the midsection. Landing with a good left jab that snapped. Kudos head back. Less than a minute remaining. That just brings Kudo on. Gonzalez bobbing and weaving well. But Kudo keeps him on the ropes. Furious pace being set by these two fighters. Through 10 rounds, we've got 30 seconds remaining in the tent. Kudo's second title defense. He won a split decision his last time out against Juho In of South Korea in December. Gonzalez on the attack, scoring. Final seconds of round 10. Another good left jab. The tenth round might have been a turning point for the challenger Manuel Gonzalez. It was his best round of the fight, using his jab effectively and keeping Kudo from taking him to the ropes. And Gonzalez has made the fight very close as they head into the final round. The fifteenth and final round, there is a slight cut over the right eyebrow of Gonzalez. It may have come from a butt, some of that furious infighting in the fourteenth round. And the champion, Kudo, on the attack with a crowd behind him here in Tokyo. He's in the white trunks on the right of your screen. Gonzalez, on our cards, has won most of the last six rounds. And this is going to be a very close decision no matter what happens. The champion, Kudo, showing a little more strength here in the final round as he tries to finish well. Trying to keep Gonzalez on the ropes, and both of them have been throwing punches like this all during the course of the fight. Kudo scoring with a combination. Gonzalez trying to fight his way out of the corner. And he does with a good left jab. That's been his best punch. Kudo leaning on him. He's tired, but he is showing that little extra here in the 15th. Perhaps feeling he may be in trouble with a decision. An overhand right scores by Gonzalez. These two fighters have put up a great show here in this WBA Junior Middleweight Championship. Most of the fight has been in the middle of the ring. That's where Gonzalez has been most effective. Kudo gets him over on the ropes where he wants him. Out comes Gonzalez. A lot of head contact in there, and we suspect that cut over the eyebrow of Gonzalez came from the butt as he straightens Kudo with a good left. Kudo just comes forward and forces him back to the ropes. Now a straight left and a right from Gonzalez scoring. There's blood around the mouth of Kudo, but he keeps throwing punches. Another good right from Gonzalez. Tremendous action in the final round. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Gonzalez corner on their feet, exhorting their fighter to keep throwing punches. And he does. Kudo with a great show of strength here in the 15th round. He's been just as busy as Gonzalez. Look at him working Gonzalez over in the Kudo corner. Less than 30 seconds remaining. The Japanese crowd really enjoying this one. It's been a great show. Kudo appears to be bleeding from the mouth, and there's a good right hand and a left. But Kudo comes right back with a right of his own. Both fighters giving it everything they have, the final seconds of the fight. That's it. Two tired fighters. A tremendous show. 
And it's going to be a very close decision. We'll be back to find out. We're back here in the Sumo Wrestling Hall in Japan, and the champion, Masashi Kudo, has successfully defended his title with a decision over the challenger, Manuel Gonzalez, extremely disappointed. He fought back strongly in the last five or six rounds, but two of the judges saw it in favor of the champion, Kudo, and the referee, Luis Silberon of Venezuela, called the fight even. It was very close, 148 to 147 by Ken Morita and 146-144 by Judge Barakal and Silberon calling it even. And so Masashi Kudo wins the fight here tonight and retains his WBA Junior Middleweight Championship. Now let's go out to the Ginza with artist Leroy Neiman.